3D construction techniques. So before we start designing our 3D model, we should figure out what is the purpose of our design and what is the best way to construct and display that model. There are typically four different types of 3D construction. There is wireframe object, there is surface modeling, there is solid modeling, and there is mesh modeling. First, the wireframe models are the oldest. They are just simply showing the edges like it was made out of coat hangers or wires. Um, it's very difficult to use. These wireframe models have no surfaces. They have no mass. You can see through them. Therefore, they're extremely limited of what you can do. So they're virtually almost not used anymore. However, we do have surface modeling. And surface modeling actually involves a very thin shell. Uh, it's think as a sheet of paper the, on the surface. It has no mass or volume. Okay, so it really is hollow on the inside. And therefore, um, when it's hollow, we have limited capabilities with that. Uh, so, um, we do have these surface models that are really like a balloon filled with air and we have some uh, applications for them such as terrain modeling in civil engineering, maybe automotive uh, body design, sheet metal design, etc. So there's, there's limited areas. But what we mainly use, the bulk of what we use, is solid modeling. Now solid models represent the shape of the object and they have physical properties that can give us the um, types of uh, things such as mass and volume and moments of inertia and it's centroid. So it's not just the skin, it's not hollow, it has stuff in the inside. That allows us to do things like third-party programs that will do finite element analysis, figure out the stress and strains on that object, allows us then to send this thing to 3D printing, etc. So a 3D object is really made from primitives. These primitives are the basic building blocks of 3D. They are boxes, cylinders, spheres, cones. These are kind of like the lines, arcs, and circles of the 2D basic entities. These primitives are the basic entities in 3D of being a cone, box, cylinder, pyramids, etc. We use that to um, build more complex models by revolving them and sweeping them and lofting them and joining them together. Uh, and subtracting them together with Boolean expressions. Our last type is mesh modeling. Mesh modeling is an or, more of an organic uh, way of doing it, a free-flowing shape that we can mold like, say, clay. And so the mesh models work good for molding and uh, shaping objects. And uh, they can be converted into a solid model for modeling construction. So, um, but when they are mesh models, they have no mass properties. So you can think of them as like maybe chicken wire, um, uh, where the or window screen, and each one of those little parts of the window screen we can manipulate and smooth out, uh, kind of like making a clay out of it and shaping it however we want and once we build either the surface or the mesh modeling or solid model we can uh, transfer these stuff out into other party programs such as Autodesk 3ds Max and those render those models can be rendered uh, and it can put in be animation into video files uh, these solid models and surface models and mesh models can all be used to create virtual worlds for our entertainment, for our gaming applications. Uh, so we need to pick a, a few moments to figure out which type of 
uh, 3D construction will we use? We'll either use a wireframe, which is not used much at all. We'll use the surface modeling. We'll use the solid modeling, or we'll use the mesh modeling. And uh, that will build our platform of how we proceed into designing our 3D object.